Chrissy Teigen Tegan, A Very Sinking Narcissist, Part 1. Chrissy Teigen Tegan, the lady who's not sure how her surname should be pronounced, never a good sign, has recently come across the Tudor desk as a consequence of issuing some kind of apology for being a naughty, naughty lady and engaging in some online trolling. We're going to come back to that. But first of all, let's have a little run through and find out who Chrissy Teigen Tegan is. Christine Diane Tegan, born in 1985, is an American model and television personality. She made her professional modelling debut in the annual Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue in 2010, and later appeared on the 50th anniversary cover alongside Nina Regdal and Lily Aldridge in 2014. She formerly appeared as a panellist on the syndicated daytime talk show Fab Life, she co-hosts the musical competition series Lip Sync Battle with LL Cool J and serves as a judge on the comedy competition series Bring the Funny. Tegan Tegan has also authored two cookbacks. Tegan Tegan was born in Delta, Utah. Her mother, Vileluk, is from Thailand, while her father, Ron, is an American of Norwegian descent. Her surname is usually pronounced Tegan. Despite this, she stated that she prefers the pronunciation Tegan. And because I am such a kind soul, I'll allow her to use both. After she was born, Tegan Tegan and her family relocated to Snohomish, Washington, where her parents ran a tavern. When Tegan Tegan was 15, her father relocated them, relocated them to Huntington Beach, California, A, after her mother returned to Thailand. During this time, Tegan Tegan worked at a surf shop where she landed a modelling campaign with clothing company Billabong through the shop's clients and was discovered by a photographer. Apparently, she was a briefcase model in a game show deal or no deal during the pilot and first season. She was named Rookie of the Year when she appeared in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue in 2010. Following year, she designed and debuted a capsule collection with swimwear, swimwear designer Danelia Brazil at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week's Swim in Miami, as well as appeared as a featured character in the 2011 electronics art video game Need for Speed The Run. She also filmed a cooking channel special titled Cookies and Cocktails. Dungeons and Dragons is far more effective and snappier. Two years later, she was the host of the competition series Model Employee on VH1. She was also featured on another cooking channel special titled Chrissy Teigen Tegan's Hungry, detailing her wedding menu, tasting with then fiancé John Legend. I know it's legend. I always enjoy saying Legend. In October 2013, she appeared in Legend's music video for the song All of Me, how quaint, which also features footage from their wedding. How delightful. In April 2014, Teigen Tegan played a fictionalised version of herself as a relationship counsellor, fuck me, in an Inside Amy Schumer sketch. The same year, she appeared on the 50th anniversary cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue with Nina Rigdal and Lee Aldridge. In January 2015, Tegan Tegan guest starred on the sitcom The Mindy Project as the girlfriend of the man who took the main character's virginity. Oh, the things to be known for. In April, she became a co-host of the musical competition series Lip Sync Battle. 2015, she co-hosted the Billboard Music Awards with Ludacris. From September 2015 until June 2016, Tegan Tegan was a food stylist. Food stylist? What's that? How you dress the garnish? Fascinating. And panellist on Tyra Banks's syndicated daytime show, Fab Life. In February 2016, Tegan Tegan published a book titled Cravings, Recipes for All the Food You Want to Eat, which went on to become a New York Times bestseller and the second best-selling cookbook of the year. The following year, she released a clothing line in collaboration with the fashion company Revolve. In September 2018, Tegan Tegan released her second book, the imaginatively entitled Cravings, Hungry for More. Fuck me. I can imagine some advertising executive snorted up half of Bolivia, got his red rim specs on, hair in a ponytail and says, Tegan Tegan, I know what we'll call it. Cravings. Hungry for more. Brilliant. 
Simultaneously, she released a line of cookware through Target. The following year, Tegan Tegan appeared as a judge for the comedy competition series Bring the Funny. In November, Tegan Tegan launched a cooking website, Cravings. I'm sensing a theme here by Chrissy Tegan Tegan, which features recipes as well as restaurants and entertaining tips. Chrissy's Court, a courtroom style series starring Tegan Tegan, debuted in April 2020. Tegan Tegan also serves as an executive producer for the series. A little bit of politics now, as Ben Elton used to say. Tegan Tegan identifies as a feminist and intends on raising her children as such. She's had some involvement with a non-profit organisation, Planned Parenthood, has made some donations. She's a supporter of immigrants' rights. She doesn't like former US President Donald Trump. She endorsed Joe Biden. She was engaged to singer John Legend in December 2011 after four years of dating. The couple first met while filming his 2006 music video for the song Stereo, in which he played his love interest. They married in September 2013, celebrated their wedding on September 14th in Como, Italy. Legend's song All of Me was dedicated to her. They reside in Beverly Hills, next door to the Clampets in California. Tegan and Tegan and Legend have two children, a daughter born in April 2016 and a son born in May 2018. In 2020, the couple was expecting a third child, but Tegan Tegan suffered a stillbirth in September. So a little bit of background there on this individual. So essentially the cookie cutter, the cookie cutter character of somebody who is reasonably good looking, somebody who then can uh, walk in a straight line backwards and forwards whilst wearing swimwear, a particularly talented addition to the sum total of human endeavour, and then, as a consequence of this, has evidently got a degree of ability when it comes to presenting and therefore has been involved in cooking and presenting and presenting and some cooking and a bit more cooking and some more presenting and a little bit more presenting and has made a name for herself in that regard with the usual spin-offs of Bucks, swimwear lines, no doubt a fragrance knocking around somewhere and so forth. Fair play. She's made something of her life. But... Things turn a bit of an interesting turn as a consequence of her prolific behaviour on social media. As I've explained previously, social media is a complete playground for our time, our kind. It enables us to extend our reach worldwide. There's always somebody that could be ensnared at any time of day or night. It enables our reach to be extensive, it's fast, it's low energy, and of course, Narcissists are able, in certain instances, to portray themselves as something different to which that they are, or they appear as the person that they are, but it enables them to assert control to a wide range of people through a tweet or a Facebook post or an Instagram post and Snapchat post and so on and so forth, drawing fuel from supporters, followers, both in terms of positive admiration affection, approval, and of course, disapproval and contempt and spite and hatred from those who don't like the relevant individual. But either way, it's all good as it's fuel. And of course, many, many people take to social media, and that doesn't mean that all of them are narcissists, but what it does mean is that social media is an instrument that enables the narcissist to achieve the prime aims, either consciously or unconsciously. And so, in order to understand more about this analysis of Chrissy Teigen Tegan, we go back in time a little to Thursday, 25th of March 2021, and an article from Sky News which tells us Chrissy Teigen Tegan quits Twitter, saying she has been left deeply bruised by its negativity. She said she turned into a different human as a result of online abuse. The article explains. Chrissy Teigen Tegan has deleted her Twitter account, saying she has been left deeply bruised, exaggeration, by negativity on the platform. Teigen Tegan 35 had 13.7 million followers and is well known for her colourful social media presence. Extensive reach, assertion of control, drawing of fuel. But late on Wednesday, she tweeted for the last time, saying it was time to say goodbye, as Twitter had made her a different human. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but 
Despite the reach of Dorsey, Twitter can't actually make you somebody different. In actual fact, that's blame shifting, saying, I am not accountable for my behaviour, lack of accountability, and actual fact, something else made me turn into the thing that I behaved as. Now, in certain instances, an individual can be affected by an external stressor, which causes their behaviour to appear in a particular way, so that they may behave in an obnoxious manner, an angry manner, an unpleasant manner. That doesn't mean that that person is a narcissist. It means that in that instance, you could be dealing with a narcissist who's responding to a threat to control, or the individual has suffered a diminution or and reduction of their emotional empathy as a consequence of an external stressor, resulting in their narcissistic traits coming to the fore. Take, for example, you go along to your local convenience store, and inside there's a lady, and she's kicking off with the storekeeper. She's hurling insults at him, throwing around cans of beans, trying to get onto the counter to take money from the till, and is behaving in a very aggressive and nasty way towards him. Narcissist or no? We can't really judge from that one instance. It's merely an indicator and is not determinative. One has to look at a pattern of behaviour over time. That individual might be a narcissist who has responded to a threat to her control through the exhibition of ignited fury, which has manifested to cause her to assert control through the hurling of insult, triangulation, physical violence, exhibiting a sense of entitlement, trying to take money, which is a residual benefit. Or it might be that this lady has serious financial problems, that she's just lost her job, her husband's unable to work because he's long-term ill, she's got four children to look after, and she's tried to buy something and her card has been rejected and it's tipped her over the edge. And therefore, the financial pressure and the domestic pressure and the concern about her ill husband has reduced her emotional empathy. So her narcissistic trait of argumentativeness, her narcissistic trait of anger has come to the fore, causing her to lash out. So there are different explanations that exist where we look at something in isolation. And therefore, what we need to do, of course, is look at a pattern of behaviour. And here, as I will continue to demonstrate, it isn't the case that Twitter has actually caused her to become somebody else. Not at all. That is the blame shifting that has occurred. The article continues. She wrote, Hey, for over 10 years, you guys have been my world. I honestly owe so much to this world we have created here. Grandiosity, flattery. I truly consider so many of you my actual friends. Magical thinking. That's horseshit. You don't know these people. They can't be your actual friends. But it's time for me to say goodbye. One thing you'll notice about narcissists is that, in certain instances, they really do like to announce their departure from things. Just If you're going, just fuck off. Don't wander off at a glacial pace. I honestly owe so much to this world we have created here. I truly consider so many of you my actual friends. But it's time for me to say goodbye. This no longer serves me as positively as it serves me negatively. And I think that's the right time to call something. Bit of word salad there. My life goal is to make people happy. Grandiosity. The pain I feel when I don't is too much for me. Pity play. Martyrdom. I've always been portrayed as a strong clapback girl but I'm just not. Demonstration of insecurity, pity play. The TV personality, who has two children with Song Jong legend, received widespread praise for sharing emotional images following her recent miscarriage. And the Sky News article finds, uh, provides a picture of Tegan Tegan posting a picture of herself crying on a hospital bed following a recent miscarriage. Now, of course, a miscarriage is an event which causes considerable upset and distress for those that suffer them. But it's a private matter, and splashing it all over social media is again the assertion of control, pity play, triangulation. There are those, of course, who say, well, miscarriages are something that are not spoken about, and it's good to bring attention and awareness to it. Yes, 
that can be done in a particular way and in a constructive way. But where a narcissist is doing it, you'll invariably find that there's no boundary recognition, that it's all about the narcissist, that it's done in a very much in-your-face manner. And here we see the black and white picture of a visibly distressed Tegan Tegan in the hospital. The first thought, of course, is let's capture a picture of this which I can utilise for a later occasion. That is the mindset of a narcissist. Anybody with emotional empathy doesn't want their picture taken at such a moment. They want to get on with grieving for the loss of the child that has been lost as a consequence of the miscarriage. It is often the behaviour of the narcissist to utilise personal tragedy as an instrument to triangulate other people with for the purpose of assertion of control and the drawing of fuel. The article continues. She was revered for her bravery, with many baby loss organisations thanking her for breaking the stigma. But not all the responses were positive, and Tegan Tegan yesterday admitted she was sensitive, adding, one thing I haven't learned is how to block out the negativity. And that's as a consequence of the fact that negativity amounts to a threat to her control, that she is hypersensitive to such threats, and therefore, while she doesn't realise that that's what's happening, she, it manifests in her by saying, I don't know how to block out the negativity. And instead, what I'm now going to do, although I don't realise this consciously, is assert control over all those people who threaten my control by withdrawal. Namely, I'm coming off Twitter. The article continues with Tegan Tegan stating, I don't want to be this way, I just am. But I love you guys and I cherish our time together. I truly do. Grandiosity. I also hate you. I encourage you to know and never forget that your words matter. No matter what you see, what that person portrays, or your intention. For years, I have taken so many small two-follower count punches that at this point I am honestly deeply bruised. Okay. So there you are, Chrissy Teigen Tegan. A reasonably good-looking lady that's married to John Legend, who's probably extremely wealthy, very well known. You probably live in a house with 27,000 toilets. Huge mansion, probably two lovely children, friends, etc. And the fact is that because a nobody on the internet criticises you, i.e. these individual two-follow account punches that you have, and that's enough to drive you off Twitter. That is is the response of a narcissist to repeated threats to control. Anybody else would just laugh at those responses, ignore them, move on. But no, the fact that they threaten control results in the fact that in order to assert control, she does so in two ways. The first is by triangulating her followers with knowledge of these attacks against her as part of a pity play, and then the subsequent withdrawal. The article continues. Signing off, she said, Please know all I ever cared about was you. And a final post with a heart appeared before her account was deactivated. Tegan Tegan was also known for her witty remarks on Twitter, which would often see her trending. She was blocked by former US President Donald Trump as a result and demanded the presidential account refollow her when, her when Joe Biden took office. Interestingly there, issuing a demand for somebody to refollow her after being blocked. Grandiosity, sense of entitlement, assertion of control. Entertainingly, the article ends with her Instagram account is still active. Hypocrisy. If you are really that bothered about what's been happening, or at least of course you think you are, why not come off social media as a whole? No, this was an assertion of control and triangulation and demonstrates the hypocrisy of coming off Twitter but remaining on Instagram. So already we have a number of indicators with regard to the behaviour, but there's yet more to come. And join me in part two as we examine more of Chrissy Teigen Tegan.